Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Kim with Kim's Inspired Life. And I'm gonna share something with you real quick. So I had made these boxes. Um, Michelle at Pink Strawberry, she has these on her channel. She has a tutorial for these. And she calls them like mini album, I can't even remember what she calls them. Really, um, I don't really, can. it's more like a box. And so there's some acetate that holds them together. This is a box that you just make out of a five by five piece of paper. And then, um, so it just looks like this. So I was thinking that um, I had made four of them right here. I made them so that um, I could just um, put something in them and send them out for Happy Meal. Wasn't really sure, didn't have a plan for what I was actually going to put in them. But then I started thinking, well, I could make like a mini little junk journal. Like, I think that would be so fun. I have all that recycled, you know, mail that I could use. And just I have lots of little pieces of ephemera and die cuts and all that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get started with that project, guys. And I will be back to show you where I am. This paper for the cover looks like that. And I think I'm going to use a different piece of paper for the back cover. I think I'll use this one. So. I just need a, it says yourself right there.
big journal cover is done and now the little journal cover is done. I really like this pebbles paper and looks so cute. The next step is to get the basket of all the potential papers that I will be using inside the little journals out and get ready to start cutting. It doesn't take long since they're so tiny just to fill them up with all kinds of fun little papers, doilies, paper bags, spreadsheets, copy paper, um, printed paper, sales receipts, dictionary pages, all of the fun papers that I have um, inside my basket. And then after that, we're going to get the needle and the wax and the um, break, just regular string out and get ready to sew them together. And I had never used wax like this before. I had to go find it at Joann's one day. And um, so now I know how to get a book and get my awl and poke holes inside whatever it is that you're going to be putting into your journal. And there's some measurement that has to take place, which I didn't bore you with all of that. But um, once you know where you're supposed to put the holes, you just use your awl, make those holes and put your needle in and just put it inside the cover and it's nice and easy. And so once they're inside the cover, I leave the string. I like the string just hanging inside there. And you can see now that it doesn't take long to put them all in. I'll be covering up the spine with fabric or some other paper, so I'm not worried about that. Micro mini journal done. Now to start on the mini journal, the three by three. I did the same thing. I just used pattern paper from the Sun and Fun Pebbles um, pad that Liana gave me. Thank you, Liana. And I used that as the main cover. And then I just put in lots of different scrap papers like I did before. And I used, sewed them in same way. This was a really fun project. It took me about an hour to make both journals. Now it's time to add all the fun goodies inside. Thanks for stopping by.